We begin when Dr. Jonathan Reed, returning to London from the Great War in 1918, awakens in a mass grave as a vampire. Overwhelmed with bloodlust, he inadvertently kills his sister, Mary, who is searching for his body nearby. Reed takes shelter from vampire hunters in an abandoned house and starts hearing the disembodied voice of his maker, a typical feature in the progeny of vampires. Realizing that London is abundant with corpses, he follows a blood trail to a bar. The bartender points Reed to William Bishop, a suspicious patron. Bishop is caught feeding on a man named Sean Hampton and is killed by the vampire, Lady Ashbury. Dr. Edgar Swansea rescues Hampton and hires Reed to practice medicine at Pembroke Hospital. After the room of patient Harriet Jones is found covered in blood and Hampton disappears, Reed tracks him down for questioning. Hampton insists he did not murder Jones and directs him to an underground haven for corrupted vampires known as Skulls, where it's revealed that Jones faked her death. Reed later discovers a corpse in the street bearing his mother's brooch. He pursues the perpetrator towards the cemetery in Whitechapel and finds his sister Mary with her mother Emmeline, realizing Mary was turned into a vampire the night he fed on her. Mary is intent on killing him to rid herself of his voice, but dies trying. Reed vows to uncover what is behind the skull epidemic, which he learns has been mistaken for the Spanish flu. Lady Ashbury invites Reed to the West End on behalf of the Ascalon Club, a secret society of highborn vampires. By the order of its leader, Lord Redgrave, Reed roots out the source of skulls in the district. Swansea is later kidnapped and, once located, admits to attempting to heal Jones with Lady Ashbury's blood, thereby creating the skull epidemic, and when Ashbury learns this, she flees in shame. It's revealed that the entity Myrden, Jonathan's maker, sired him in order to defeat his mother, Morrigan, also known as the Red Queen, after she possessed Jones to wreak havoc upon London. Reed defeats Morrigan in battle, resolving then to travel after Lady Ashbury to her family castle, where she is in hiding with her ancient maker, William Marshall, the first Earl of Pembroke.